हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू जे जी केमिस्ट्री गाइज टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न क्रैम्स रूल इन स्टीरियो केमिस्ट्री विच इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू फाइंड आउट द स्टीरियो केमिस्ट्री ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट इन ए सीमेट्रिक सिंथेसिस द रूल इज नॉट ओनली इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर एम एस सी केमिस्ट्री स्टूडेंट्स बट ऑल्सो यू कैन फाइंड द क्वेश्चन इन सी एस आई आर नेट एंड गेट एवरी ईयर बेस्ड ऑन क्रैम्स रूल सो विल सी वॉट इज क्रैम्स रूल so basically here we are introducing a new stereo center which is the chiral center in a molecule in such a way that we are generating the di stereomers in an equal amount therefore we call it di stereo selective synthesis because one di stereomer is going to be major other is going to be minor so therefore we call it the stereo selective synthesis which is di stereo selective because it is going to form the di stereomers so we'll see by taking one example here as you can see in this uh, starting material you have already one chiral center the chiral center is which we having uh, four different groups as you can see this particular carbon is having four different groups so it is chiral and by doing one chemical reaction we are introducing another stereo center or chiral center on the adjacent position to it and so it will generate the di stereomers so here we have the grignard reagent where the nucleophile is ph so this nucleophilic attack will be there on the carbonyl carbon followed by the hydrolysis which will give you the alcohol here oh so now what is the possibility this ph can attack either from below the plane or it can attack above the plane in that way you will be getting two products one is major and other is minor to find out the stereochemistry of the product we will first write down the newman projection of this sawhorse conformation so if you write the newman projection here you can notice with respect to this chiral center we will write down first the groups attached to it taking the larger group which is ph below the plane a small group which is hydrogen on your right hand side and keeping the middle or medium size group on your left hand side you can see i have written slm that is for a small medium and large group so by keeping large below the plane hydrogen that is small group on your right hand side and me on your left hand side then you can write down the carbonyl and me along the line and now attack the nucleophile from the small side of the group so a small side of the group is that is hydrogen here if this nucleophile will attack from here the o minus will go on the other side so you can say o minus after hydrolysis it will convert to oh and me is already there in the other position so i am representing this uh, with red color to distinguish uh, the three groups from the other side now what we have to do you can see here the green line that means uh, in this uh, configuration they have given the me anti to each other so we have to maintain this configuration anti we have to rotate this molecule in a way so that the two me comes anti to each other now by rotating it by 60 degree you can see the two me became anti to each other and now we can see the position of the ph group which is a nucleophile it is anti to the ph anti means opposite to the ph if the two ph are anti to each other then we can write down the stereochemistry this is stereochemistry you write down as such which is given in the molecule now next carbon the ph is anti to ph means this is wedge ph then you have to write down the solid ph that is above the plane ph as you can notice in newman projection the two ph are opposite or anti to each other so if the ph goes above the plane then hydro uh, oh group will always go down the plane so obviously you can write down wedge line oh group so this is the stereochemistry of the product and when the two ph here in this example you can say are opposite the two groups are opposite to each other the the configuration is called the erythro configuration and this is called the cramps product which is the major product here since we are talking about stereo selective you will have the minor product that is the trio product where the ph is on the wedge line so this is the other possibility and called anti cramps product 
the reaction is very important to find out the stereochemistry as you can see compared to the starting material we have generated a new stereo center here and what will be the stereo selectivity that we have found that it is the erythro isomer is going to be measured so the point is which you have to keep in your mind that always maintain the stereochemistry here in this case the green line groups that is me here are anti to each other so you have to maintain the same in the newman projection and then find out the stereochemistry of the two groups now to find out so i have written the same statement here you can note it down for further problems which you are going to solve based on this now erythro isomer if you want to find out sr or ss that uh, rs nomenclature of this because sometimes in the problem they give you rs ss or sr which is going to be major and sometimes they will give you whether the erythro isomer or the 3o isomer which is going to be major so you should know what is erythro isomer and what is 3o and how to do the rs nomenclature of it now we know the rule of rs nomenclature that the lowest priority group should always be away from the viewer that is from the on the wedge line but in this you can notice it is above the plane so we have to convert it whatever configuration you are getting here so if you go from highest priority that is ph me and hydrogen uh, in a sequence wise it is a clockwise rotation which is r but since hydrogen is above the plane then we have to convert it from r to s and so this center is s here the stereo center is s here which is given the starting material now we need to find out uh, the stereo chemistry or the rs nomenclature of this carbon center for that we have to first write down separately i have written here this particular stereo center which we have designed and in this by keeping the rule in your mind that the lowest priority group should always be on the wedge line we will rotate this and will bring the me on the wedge line so after rotating it you can see 120 degree we are bringing the me on the wedge line and so the oh will go on the ph position and ph will come on the me position now if you take uh, from highest priority that is oh and go 1 2 3 sequence wise atom atomic number it is the clockwise direction and so we can say if it is clockwise it is given r configuration and so we find out this particular ethyl isomer is having sr nomenclature the minor product stereochemistry if you see that is 3o s remains the same because it is given in the starting material we have designed the s uh, the other stereo semi obviously if you are getting in erythro r it has to be s here so for that we will find out uh, how to do that you can notice here that uh, we have written uh, yes so one any additional thing you can see always the wedge line we write it uh, away from the viewer so in this the ph we have written on your left hand side and oh we have written that is a front group oh we have written on the right hand side so front groups on your right hand side and the back group on the left hand side that also you have to keep in your mind Uh, in the previous case already the wedge it was given on the left hand side away from the viewer so we have written and continue the same here since it is given on the right hand side so we have to convert the wedge on the left hand side away from the viewer and front group near to you and then by taking the same rule that by keeping the smallest group on the wedge line we will rotate this molecule by 120 degree and you will get the new position for the groups and now by going to 1 2 3 sequence as per the atomic number priority wise from oh ph to me you can notice it is anti clockwise rotation and so it is given s configuration and so the major product is sr and the minor product is ss this is again important if in your question they give you the rs nomenclature and find out the major product okay so now uh, this is a long process which we learned by taking some tricks we can solve the problem in one go itself so the trick is if your large group is sin to the carbonyl group then the attack will occur from the medium side group 
If your large group is anti to the carbonyl group, then the attack will come from the small side group. So what does it mean? We will see by taking the example. In this, you can notice your large group here is the pH group, which is anti to the carbonyl group, right? It is anti to the carbonyl group. So if your large group is anti, then the attack will occur from the small side means your nucleophile which is your MEMGBR will attack from the small side. The small side is hydrogen here and the stereochemistry of the hydrogen is above the plane. So if ME is going to attack from the small side means the stereochemistry of the ME will also be the same as it is given for the small group. So if a small group is above the plane and ME is attacking from the small side group, it is above the plane also. So if you're writing ME above the plane, obviously OH will go down the plane. So this is the stereochemistry of the product, which is going to be a major product. And it is erythro product. As you can see, the two methyl group, which is given in the Newman projection by maintaining this configuration, it is anti to each other. And if it is anti, we know it is erythro isomer. You can do the RS nomenclature by using the same rule, which we have done just now. Another example which you can take for syn where the large group is syn to the carbonyl then we have written attack will take from the medium side group and medium side group is ethyl so it means the nucleophile which is me will attack with the same stereochemistry as it is given for ethyl group. So you can see we have written the same stereochemistry for methyl above the plane because medium side group is ethyl which is above the plane and so other group will go that is OH on the dash line. So this is the stereochemistry of the product and here again by keeping this stereochemistry that pH and H is anti in the Newman projection you can notice the ethyl and OH are opposite to each other and so it is the erythro configuration. So erythro configuration is going to be major in both the reactions here and the 3O is going to be minor and so we can say it is a diastereoselective reaction. In the first example, we could not apply the trick because there we were not able to find out the position of L group whether it is above the plane or below the plane. If you are not able to find out the position of large group then you have to do by using the Newman projection Otherwise, if you are able to find out the large group, whether it is anti 2 carbonyl group or it is syn 2 carbonyl group, then you can apply the tricks. I hope you understood this uh, trick and you understood the concept of stereochemistry of the products here. Happy learning!